Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I got the servers going up and down a little bit, so it's a good time to uh, discuss uh, what we're seeing in the achievements. Um, I'm just going to go over the personal tab. I'm not going to go into the guild tab at all. Um, so, um, just in general, I feel that the achievements have been thumbed down a little. Um, I think it's in a good way. I think it kind of gives you uh, an idea of the full picture of what you're after for the uh, for the expansion pack, as opposed to uh, just diving in, you know, a little blindly, just kind of cracking at as many achievements as you can. Um, so with that said, let's go through each tab. The general tab, I didn't find anything in here. So this is in comparison to Draenor. Um, there was nothing new here for us. Um, when you get into the quests, um, you'll find that there is nothing here in the general tab that's new for us. Um, but um, there's a Legion tab and there's a World Quest tab. Um, complete 50 World Quests. And then Variety Spice Lake, complete 100 different World Quests. And then uh, under Legion, you have your, um, you know, your quest metas for uh, each zone. So there's five zones, and then you have a couple of specific uh, story quest lines here, um, uh, typical to what you've seen in, in Draenor. And then you have your lore master meta at the bottom. Um, when you get into exploration, uh, the only thing I could mention in the general is that. You have the full uh, Broken Isles Explorer uh, for the five zones, and then it connects to the Universal Explorer, which is the new uh, the new meta for the Explorer title that includes the Broken Isles. Um, other than that, there's a couple of uh, you know um, things you can explore in particular uh, throughout the uh, the zones here. Um, so they've outlined a couple of uh, specific um, explorations, and then you have your uh, your treasure uh, achievements in here. Uh, and then at the bottom here, complete the following special encounters in Valshara, special encounters in Stormheim, special encounters in High Mountain, and you can see they've outlined these uh, these special encounters for each zone. Um, and you know they're right around, let's say about 20. Uh, per location. Okay. In PvP. So at first, I ran this video. <laughs> I really did. It's like, God, oh, there's nothing here for PvP. There's an honor tab here for PvP. Uh, reach honor level 50. We reach prestige level 3. We reach prestige level 4. Um, and then we reach prestige level 5 to earn the Crest of Heroism, uh, which the Crest of Heroism allows. Uh, transmogs for your uh, for your artifact weapon to unlock appearances uh, and the same with the crest of carnage and the crest of uh, devastation but as you can see uh, you're gonna get each one at level uh, 5 prestige level 9 prestige and then uh, level 13 prestige um, but other than that that'll take you out of uh, out of PvP um, dungeons and raids, you're looking to something, uh, you know, typical to what we've seen before. Uh, you'll go down in the general tab, and there'll be the the meta achievements for the the mythic, um, heroic, and uh, legion raids. Um, and then they're outlined in individual uh, tabs here on the side. You know, completing the bosses. I'm sorry, I'm in Draenor. Completing the um, the end bosses of uh, of each dungeon area. And uh, and such and uh, specific uh, achievements for each uh, dungeon as well. Uh, and then you're gonna find the same thing for raids. Um, for raids, we're looking at the Emerald Nightmare, and um, the second one is the Nighthold. And in regards to professions, now they've done a lot. Um, so. Um, in regards to cooking, um, uh, Nomi's coming back, uh, the Pandarian cook that uh, you leveled up. Um, let me just jump right into that. Kind of got a little ahead of myself there. I know you guys saw. <laughs> but, um, but here we are. So we've got all grown up. Work with Nomi to open the test kitchen. 
uh, place 100 work orders with Nomi, um, cook 15 of the Legion recipes listed below. So it looks like we're looking at 25 cooking recipes. Um, let me jump back up to the generalized profession tab before we uh, before we lose out. So that there's an obliterum forge um, that's being used um, to break down craftables that you're crafting and to use the um, the uh, material to upgrade your um, your craftables that you you know you have on. Um, so you could bring it up, I think, from level 805 into a uh, level 850 range. Um, so the Obliterum Forge is going to be used for breaking down craftables that you're crafting that you don't necessarily want. Um, and I understand it's going to go through all recipes, like even um, flasks can be broken down at the uh, Obliterum Forge and, and stuff of that nature as well. So that sounds really cool. Um, I saw at the bottom here, achieve... 250,000 points in a single jewel crafting mini game so that sounds really cool and reached level 20 in the blinktron circuit tutorial mini game so there's two mini games coming to us uh, fishing seems to have a lot going on as well um, when I started going through it uh, it looks like we've got a couple of uh, there's nothing here um, before I say that, fishing around the isles. So we've got 25 um, fishing daily quests that are provided around the Broken Isles. And then you've got this enormous list of coins and such that can be fished from the dollar on fountain as we had in uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I hear this is a very serious achievement um, and that it's not for, it's not to be easily completed. <laughs> Uh, first aid, we've got an achievement. Uh, complete 10 of the wounded NPC quests uh, across a broken aisle. So you can see here the singed note, bloody note, crumpled letter. So I'm sure that these are going to be things that you're picking up on a high level uh, first aid character. And then archaeology, uh, you know, you're not looking at anything like Pandaria. We're definitely looking at, you know, similar to what we saw in Draenor where it was thumbed down into... Um, you know a large list but less uh, achievements um, so you're gonna go ahead and find um, the common achievements then you'll go ahead and you'll find pristine versions of the achievements uh, it looks like there's a bunch of rare archaeology finds so once you find one of them you'll get the achievement survey to land um, and we're gonna be helping Braun uh, put together uh, pieces of uh, his Titan relic along the way so that sounds pretty cool uh, reputation, there's nothing here as far as in any of the, the tabs as far as generalization. Um, then you have friends with, I'm sorry, Broken Isle Diplomat, which is Earn Revered with the uh, the six factions. Then you have uh, Earn Exalted with the six factions here. Um, and then um, there's one in particular for the Night Fawn, which the Night Fawn is then part of, it's one of the six. Uh, so once you get Exalted with Night Fawn, you get your own personal achieve there. Uh, no new world events or anything of that nature. Um, pet battles. You've got about 35 pets that were added here. So when you come down, um, there's nothing under general. You'll come into the collection tab and you'll see that they've added Broken Isle Safari. So you got 35 new ones there that'll earn you a, a rescued fawn. Um, and that's it for that tab. And you get down into battle. Um, so there's complete 30 pet battle world quests and you get a reward of a pocket pet portal so that sounds really cool and they list out uh, 35 quests here um, and then there's um, battling achievements defeat 12 master tamers in the broken isle with all aquatic pets defeat 12 master tamers with beast pests Critter pets, dragonkin pets, elemental, magic, flying, humanoid, undead. <laughs> get a mechanical. We got them all here. And then when you go ahead and get the meta achievement, uh, you get a nightmare trent. Um, so that sounds really cool. Um, in regards to leveling here, there's nothing new here for us. 
Um, when you get into collections, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, you didn't see anything here under the generalized tab. Uh, toy box, it was hard to tell because um, I don't have any toys unlocked on the beta. Um, so as you know, we get higher into the 200s range, I'm sure there'll be a, a large achievement unlocked. Um, for mounts, the generalized mounts, I didn't see anything here. Uh, we're getting appearances in um, in Legion, so um, there's going to be literally a, thousands of appearances to pick up between you know your weapons and offhands and chests and stuff that have already been out in the game and stuff. So there's fashionista uh, achievements here: collect 100 chests, 100 shoulders, 100 legs, 200 back, 100 waist. So as you start picking them up, and then there's uh, it goes into 15 tabards, 15 shirts, and then there's a meta where you can get the fabulous title um, if you've done all those achievements. Um, and then there's a class hall section uh, to complete your class hall uh, order campaign, uh, research all your class hall upgrades, um, and then there's uh, to unlock all the different appearances and upgraded artifact appearances uh, for your artifact. Uh, so you'll get your upgrade artifact appearance, your valorous artifact appearances, your war-torn artifact appearances, um, and then to unlock every uh, trait for your artifact weapons uh, on the traits page. And then there's um, you know your missions in your class hall now: uh, recruit 20 troops, complete 10 class hall missions. Uh, complete class hall missions that reward a dungeon quest, complete them that uh, reward a raid quest, um, and then collect eight class hall champions. So that's the type of stuff you're going to be doing for the class hall. Um, Drain our garrison, uh, nothing new was added here. We've got nothing new added for the scenarios, the proven grounds, and the Miss Pandaria uh, scenarios are still what's there. And then um, they've added some tabs to kind of break out the uh, the legacy achievements, and they've added some tabs to break out uh, dungeon achievements. So under legacy, you've got dungeons, raids, PvP, and currency, uh, and feats of strength. You have mounts, dungeons, raids, PvP, reputation, events, and promotions. So I find that that stuff's really cool. So you can kind of see where people have put their focus uh, back in the day. Um, and that's it. That's our preview. I hope this was good for you, and uh, good luck. I hope to see you out there. Take care.